today. Inflation in the March quarter has fallen less uh, than expected to an annual rate of 3.6%. Uh, Daniel, this is the lowest level since December 2021, getting close to the target band. Is it falling as quickly as your government anticipated? Well, look, this is the broad trajectory that I think both uh, Treasury and the RBA had forecast. I think if you look at where inflation's come from, uh, if you look back at the December quarter 2022, it was 7.8 and it, in fact, on a monthly basis was uh, well over 8% in late 2022. So it's come down a long way. We're now 3.6. So we want to get into that 2.2 to 3% band and in particular now we've set a target of 2.5. So it does have a little bit to go. One thing I, I think that's really worth noting is that we've achieved that big drop from 7.8 to 3.6 with unemployment still with a three in front of it. But look, Shari, you do draw attention to the fact that uh, inflation does tend to uh, slow down in its trajectory as you get closer to the target. We're seeing this in other countries. We're seeing this in the US where there was a slight uptick. Um, but, you know, it, it, inflation typically as it's coming down uh, does tend to get a bit uh, slower as it gets nearer the target. Mm. Um, so we, uh, what I the mean, RBA it... has said, though, <laughs> is that... Bad maths. Well, the, the yeah, inflation please, target is 2 to 3%. We were expecting that by 2025. So 3.6% um, does seem like it's moving in the right direction. But, Bridget, the worry is that you just have to go to the supermarket to see that prices aren't coming down. The cost of living is still so high. Absolutely, Shari. I think Australians are playing, paying an enormous cost for Labor's economic mismanagement. Uh, what Daniel has failed to tell your viewers is the reason inflation is so high is because the government isn't getting its fiscal uh, spending under control. It's not drawing back and down on government spending. And so the RBA is having to keep interest rates high, higher for longer than it needs to be. And that means the average mortgage, you're having to pay another 24 grand a year uh, just to make ends meet. Food's gone up 10%, uh, electricity in excess of 16%, and I could go on. Your viewers know it. What Jim Chalmers needs to do in this next budget is actually rein in government spending so that Michelle Bullock can actually do the right thing on interest rates because economists now are concerned, given inflation is sticking around, that it is homegrown, is that the RBA may be forced to raise uh, interest rates again over coming months, which would just be devastating for homeowners. Yeah. All right, tomorrow's Anzac Day. Just a, a quick final thought from both of you, Daniel Molino. Well, look, I'll be... Um looking forward to going to the Sunshine RSL, just a few hundred metres from where I am right now. It's, it's always a very special morning. And I was also at the Turkish sub-branch of the RSL on Monday night. That's a special event as well and mm. shows how important Anzac Day is as a reflection of two countries coming together after a bitter battle. Yeah. Bridget? Uh, starting the morning at dawn in Wodonga, gunfire brekkie with the boys and girls and then down to Benalla uh, for 10am. But... It's a really important day in our nation's calendar to remember the heroism and the selflessness uh, of our diggers. Indeed it is. All right, Bridget McKenzie, Daniel Molino, thank you so much yep. for your time.